A bombshell new report showing last year the Obama administration allowed nearly 68,000 illegal immigrants with criminal records to go free. Judge Anna Napolitano, Fox News senior judicial analyst, is on this. How are you, Judge? Good, Bill. How are go you? Go free means what? Were they deported? No. I mean, it means Stayed that they here? were. here? They're here. They were not deported. Bill, these are people who committed felonies and were convicted of committing felonies that were scheduled for deportation, and the president freed them from immigration jails, and they are with us in society. Not all of them are dangerous, not all of them have harmed people, but they were all scheduled to be deported, and under the law should have been, and the president exercised his, quote, prosecutorial discretion and decided to set them free. Now, why would he do that? Well, only he could say why he did that, but his argument would be that he has uh, limited resources and would rather focus those resources, we're talking about money and person power in the Justice Department, on other things than on deporting people. But look, the president is determined on his own bill to change immigration laws in this country as we know it. Because last year, he told the 11 million illegal immigrants who are here what they should do in order to stay here, even though they are susceptible to deportation. So instead of upholding and enforcing the law, as he has sworn an oath to do, as he was hired to do, as he was elected to do, the President of the United States told these people what they can do to avoid obeying the law. Mm, these are felons, right? I, I mean, are they hardcore criminals? In the 69,000 that were released last year, they are felons. Not all felonies are hardcore core criminals. Some could be for personal possession of, okay, of right, marijuana. That's an important clarification. Now, yes. but, so you're saying he's doing this because he wants to change the immigration laws in America anyway, right? Yes. And I'm also saying that Congress could stop him from doing this. But Congress never seems to interfere when this president pushes the envelope to the outermost limits of executive authority. And in this area of immigration, he has pushed so far, I would argue, Bill, that he is doing contrary to what the law says he's supposed to do. Mm. Uh, the other side, uh, meaning the immigration advocates who support what is happening, right? Um, they, they say these numbers are misleading, the report's misleading, and we're taking people down the wrong road. You are know, we? well, these are these are numbers that both sides are are relying on. I'm I'm not sure the source of the numbers. Honestly, I, I think they're Justice Department sources. So when you say 69,000 people were set free, they weren't in jail. A lot of them were out of jail. Some of them were in deportation centers and were and were released. Some are dangerous. Most are not. But if the president's going to follow the law, obey the law, enforce the law as he was mm -hmm. elected to, he ought to do that instead of changing the law so radically, which okay, he seems well, determined it, it, to do. Here's another number. Department of Homeland Security says that um, between 2009 and 2012, there were 1.5 million deportations. Now, Republican Senator Sessions argues that we're just counting them in a different way. In other words, if you made a stop at the border and returned somebody back to Mexico, right. that was not considered a deportation. That right. was considered a U-turn. Right. But now they're counting all those as deportations. Are they or do we know that? Well, Judge? Mark Twain once said there are lies, there are damn lies, and there are statistics. The government can do almost anything it wants with numbers, Bill, and it could count that U-turn that you just so nicely described as a deportation if it wants to. The president has deported people and he has instructed the justice department to do so but he has also more than any other president since the the reagan era um, amnesty allowed more people who are patently unlawful mm -hmm. and determined and, and destined for deportation to stay here uh, but you said one thing in this you, you said congress could stop him if they wanted yes congress and could rewrite haven't. the laws that strip him of his discretion with respect to whether or not they should be deported. But Congress doesn't do that. In fact, this Congress doesn't do anything when the president pushes the envelope. They just look the yeah. other way. Judge, thank you. You're welcome. Anna Napolitano, see you in the hall. You got it. Thank you, sir.